There are many ways to go back to stock Chrome and unroot your Nexus 5, however using Vux Toolkit must be the easiest one. What you do is download the toolkit and install it on your computer. Choose your device, Nexus 5 in this case, and follow the rather easy steps shown on your computer. For the sake of this video I will not show you how to install the toolkit as it should be self-explanatory. Now on your Nexus 5 go to the developer settings, enable USB debugging and connect your phone to your computer via USB cable. If it asks whether or not to allow to connect, just check the always allow box and tap on OK. Using the toolkit, click on full driver installation guide and follow the easy step by step guide on installing the drivers. However, as I already have the drivers installed and I believe you also do have them because I'm sure you installed them when you first rooted your Nexus 5, I am going to skip this part. Alright, now to the series part. Leave your device as it is connected to your computer via USB cable throughout the whole procedure as you will not have to do anything yourself. Simply select the current status on your phone, in my case it's normal as it's fully functional and click on the flash talk plus unroot button. A new window will now show up warning you that the whole device will be wiped, but that's fine with us I guess, so just click OK to continue. After that you will have to download the official stock image from Google and as it's quite large in size you will have to be patient here. Once it's finished downloading you will see the program show various actions and it will reboot your phone to the fast boot mode and you will be asked if you really want to continue. Just press OK and wait for the program to finish the job. A new window will show up so you can follow the procedure and it will take about 2 minutes for it to complete. After that your device will automatically reboot and that's it. You have now successfully restored your device to stock ROM and settings. Optionally, you can also relock the bootloader with the toolkit afterwards.